Can we remember the moment of our birth? Unfortunately, the answer is no. Researchers call this phenomenon infantile amnesia. Contrary to popular belief, the inability to remember being born is not due to the underdevelopment of memory-making parts of the brain. Infants as young as three months old can form long-term memories. However, these memories are implicit or unconscious rather than explicit or episodic. Implicit memories involve skills, habits, and associations, whereas explicit memories involve specific events and their context. There are several possible explanations as to why we cannot recall the experience of being born. One theory suggests that explicit memories formed during early infancy are simply lost over time due to a lack of retrieval cues. Unless we actively attempt to recall a specific event from early in our lives, we are unlikely to retrieve it from memory. Additionally, language skills play a vital role in the formation and retrieval of explicit memories, and the lack of language skills early in life may contribute to infantile and amnesia. Another theory is that significant changes in the brain during the first few years of life make it challenging to retrieve early memories. For instance, the prefrontal cortex, which is involved in the encoding and retrieval of explicit memories, is not fully functional at birth. It takes several years for this part of the brain to mature and develop the necessary connections to form and retrieve complex memories. Similarly, the hippocampus, a brain region involved in the transfer of sensory information into long-term storage, continues to develop until the second or third year of life. These changes may affect the formation and retrieval of explicit memories from early infancy. Childhood amnesia remains a fascinating and elusive topic in the field of memory research. While we have some understanding of the factors that contribute to our inability to remember being born, there is still much to be learned about the mechanisms underlying early memory formation and retrieval. As scientists continue to unravel the mysteries of the human brain, we may one day gain a better understanding of this intriguing aspect of our cognitive development.